everyone. Welcome to another very special episode of SRB TV. I'm, of course, Kristen. I'm Christopher. And on today's episode, we're taking a look at the Cyberpunk 2077 Night City Wire Episode 3. So, um, of course, we just had, which you can check out on this site, we just had the big PS5 showcase blowout. And while the dust is selling on that, uh, Nintendo revealed a mini and we got another Cyberpunk trailer. So, um, yeah. Uh, it's going to be cool seeing this again for the mm-hmm. third time. On the last one, uh, it brought up the different classes you can start as, your origin story. The life basically. paths, that's what they call it. Yeah, we kept saying, get, I think I think we made a mistake and we kept calling it lifespans, but it's actually life paths. Yeah, that's so you is. can either start as a corporate, like a, a member of a corporate, corpo. Uh, a corpo. Uh, you can start as a like uh, person who lived on the, sh- who's been born and raised on the streets. Yeah, I forgot the name City. of the yeah, others. I know corpo though. And then the third one is pretty much you. You're on. You live in the outskirts of. Night you're City. an outsider coming into this world. Yeah. So um, and they, did they? I forgot. Did they also? Yeah, they should, they explain more about also more of the weapons. Explain more of the weapons. They also explain how like the decision you make of what life path you choose will get you effects. better advantages at certain points in the game while also giving you disadvantages. As and then well. they really... also went over, um, uh, was it Keanu Reeves' uh, band? The, the band yeah, that's going to uh, do their music the, for yeah, them. The, yeah, the, the in-game band, they went over that, which was a really cool process to see. Um, but yeah, let's uh, dive into this. This is only like 20, 22 minutes long. So yeah. um, straight, looking simple. Forward to, you're looking forward to seeing what we got next. The game is still scheduled for release, um, was it November? Was it November? It's still November. Right? Yeah, it was like it's still, it's still yeah, officially now. Now do we know the price? Like not officially now do we know the the when the, like both systems are coming out? I believe it's like two weeks after release of both systems. So like yeah, well, yeah, two weeks. After have, they confer- have they confirmed this is, is just for next gen or is just one of those? No, you buy it on the PS4 is, no and... this is um this is current gen. Okay, I'll, I'll go over this again because it's easy yeah. to forget. But like because of like. You know, optimized for Series X here, smart delivery day. Um, current gen and PC, but all but both current gen current gen systems will re, you will receive a free upgrade to the PS5 slash yeah. Series okay. X version. That's what I kind of figured. So let me double check the release date just so I mm-hmm. uh, make it easier. Mm-hmm. Yeah, November nineteenth. So this comes. You know what's funny? This comes a week after Series X and PS5, but comes out on the same day all other territories get the PS5. On the 19th. All the remaining territories. Yeah, the 19th. So, like, go figure. But, yeah, this is definitely going to – oh, this is going to be cool. So, anyways, let's dive into this. Here are I our hope reactions. You guys enjoy, I hope you our, enjoy our reaction. To the uh, Cyberpunk 2077 Night City Wire Episode 3. So, Enjoy. Okay. Hello and welcome to Night City Wire. We just want to be talking about the games in the game. Project Red, where we talk about all. Hey, I heard that we're going more into the city itself. The games. We're going to start by taking you as on well a tour the of Night City yeah, in see. the new gameplay video and have a chat with senior level designer Miles. Then we're going to introduce you to the gangs of Night City. Yeah, there he is. So the tour and video. gangs. And have a chat with Mateusz from our quest team. Then before we finish today's episode, we're going to give you a look at some of the incredible finalists in our PC case modding contest. And Holy we crap. Have some information that uh, PC players have been waiting People went all out for this. So let's get started. Yeah. It's time as long as to take you on I don't know if it's Steam, if it's like Steam or Epic Games for PC. I don't. Ho- I'll, I think are hoping Steam. I believe they said Steam. I don't remember. Postcards, Postcards from, from City. Night City. Oh my God, we need it here today. Oh God, too bright. Oh, too bright. I just woke up for a nap. That's too bright for me. It's not so bad here. How we feeling today? Cause I feel amazing. Yeah, these are the these are people I ignore the in my everyday life. Too much. Down by the docks. Yeah, oh, right now we're exploring the regular oh, city itself. And as always, your business. Oh, mad money guy. And this is your world news update. That's what the, yeah, that's yeah, that's what we're going over here. Yeah. From the different parts of the city. (laughs) 
fuck is it? Endless possibilities. And endless <laughs> We are fucked, America. Why do you look like the Puerto Rican flag? The more I don't know. I really don't know. Has risen by 300%. Crime in Night City is now double the rate than in the new United States. You want to be some kind of hero? That's a fight this city won't let you win. On your own, you're fucked. <laughs> <laughs> On that note, that's it for today's Info Flash. <laughs> Night, Night City. The grass ain't greener anywhere else. Night City. What does it mean to you? How well do you know its history? Who was Richard Knight? How many stations are in the NCART system? Which city district boasts mm. the best burrito in town? The answer like to these showing... questions and more Literally. can be found at the address at the bottom of your screen. Oh, God. I think it's an actual website. Love with Night City all over again. Chris, not now. Look, the burritos are probably good. I don't think they're amazing. Okay, that was interesting. Yeah, it's showing like all the talk shows, news outlets, different uh, things you interact with. Yeah. yeah. Well, since Night City is one of our stars of this episode, there is actually quite a lot to talk about. So let's start at the beginning. How did Night City come to be? It does because, not exist. Yes, it exists Actually. in the world of the tabletop. But uh, how do you take that and make what we've got now? Well, yeah, yeah as you can imagine, making a city that yeah, is does. as big and oh, complex cool. as history Night and everything city is, is quite the ambitious. As the history and stuff, cool. Yeah, of we were Night City. Really considering what is it that we wanted to do with Night City? In a way, <laughs> Night City is the star of cyberpunk, right? It is one of its main characters. We wanted to make a city that is very, very believable, right? I mean, the word immersion gets thrown around a lot, but really, we wanted you to be able to dive into it and feel like this is a real place. And then secondly, we also wanted to provide enough variety between districts so that exploring Night City would always be fun, right? There's no point in making a city that is all, all same-ish and, you know, it doesn't really matter where you go because once you've been through one district, you feel like you've been through all of them. So for that... Yeah, I feel like by the time I'm done with this game, I'm like... I'm so like, much more you God damn it, it's all the way on the other side, see? Fuck that. Fast that travel. <laughs> That's what I do with, with sandbox games, is pretty much well, just here. It's a, explore everything as possible like, on my own. After a while, it's if, if I've been going through the same area over and over again throughout the game, then yeah, I will skip it. But there are times yeah. when it's like, I just want to drive and just like explore the area even more. ...would have with the world. And then we went through and actually divided the city into several districts, six of them. And some of them are based on the uh, original lore. We decided ah. to give their own characteristics in terms of okay. um, architecture, their demographics, the kind of people that would live there, and also the function within the city. Uh, Each of these districts are divided into further I'm living in the district that doesn't want to like, stab me the in the corner. Theme of the or rate me at some point this no. process i think has resulted in a city that is feels quite alive has a lot of character where each district i swear to god like that sky with the scarf i swear that looked like he was cut open from the larger picture and that results in something that allows the player to easily navigate even the complex concrete jungles of night city simply by looking around to me it's like, like when you're exploring you're gonna make it it's gonna really feel are. like you're like exploring like blade so runner world you know the way yeah. it's set up. with the witcher can you give us some idea about or some insight into just how big and like how densely packed night city really is Yes, um, so <laughs> I'm not exaggerating when I'm saying that Night City is easily the most complex thing that I or the others have worked on. The city is super organic, right? Like it's building like a rat maze for like layout, a million but rats, the, the but only one of the rats really gets to explore any of it. You can tell that Pretty much, that's what it is. Phases, right? Where buildings have been built on top of each other. And uh, I guess the mega buildings that we have showcased are a great example of this. Um, you'll actually see that they are located on a, some kind of pillar 
you know, and then expand outside and then up, up high into the sky and underneath it, you'll have space for other buildings. It'd be interesting how many abilities you actually be able to explore the inside of. That's true. That's the one thing I'm most like, if it's about more, if it's more like GT, more recent GTAs where it's just, oh, it's this there, you know, the full space or, you know, or if you can explore a lot of this, because it'd be truly, yeah. like, amazing if you can just literally practically enter every single major part of the city. Yeah, exactly. Building wise, I'll try to get there, and then you'll be lost in the way. But here, it's much more intimate, much more moment to moment. You might be roaming the cities and um, get a call by and not even that. Uh, you about a job can you go to like you a, to do, right? any type or of market and just to purchase any type of food? Alleyway, you know. You Walk down can you just do that? Especially for a restaurant or this or that. It's always a surprise. Yeah. I don't know if you might stumble upon some gangers hanging out that are up to no good. Sometimes, and these are the moments that I often get surprised with, you even stumble upon the odd elevator that is meant to connect parts of the, you know, different layers of this. I've done that before. And it's quite astonishing sometimes. Breath of Wild, Grand Theft Auto, mainly Breath of the Wild, where I just, know, like, that, oh, I randomly find a place where I get my ass handed to me. But then instead of just going yeah, I guess I'm not ready for this area yet. And or instead of just leaving, I instead just works. jump right in to um, <laughs> say, screw it, I'm going to see if I can get through this area. I eventually do give up if I can't make it after all the next three hours. You guys have really brought Night City to life, and I really want to make a point of that. It is a living, breathing city. So as a level designer, can you give us some insight into those little touches that you guys have made? Because I hear you guys have even been placing rubbish by hand. Oh yes, um, we've been. Wow, I mean, rubbish, and that's certainly one of the more glorious. You, you, you gotta imagine the dedication of where to place that exact empty can of. Where are we gonna put this empty can of, this empty can of soda? But I don't know where. Such as this, that, um, we <laughs> Over here, is it on a side? Is it standing up? Is it filled oh, up? Oh, you missed that. There was a sign they showed. It sounded it looked like it said something like right? "Aliens kidnapped my family." <laughs> placing all of what we call mini stories, right? These are little encounters um, that you can find when you simply walk along the streets. Of course, we have huge quests, right? Side quests, we have lots of side activities that you can do, but it always is nice to just kind of stop down for a minute and take a look at your surroundings um, that we have so lovingly created and try to see Jesus if Christ, I can, that you can I can really see why they made the next gen now, upgrade free because yeah. really cool apparently the rumor was, was that like um, the reason the game got delayed a couple of times, the rumor was so that like they were still NPC trying to get this thing to run on current gen. Locations, locations like they're they still getting trying to get us all to run on deeper are like my thoughts on that as well. You will be able to talk to your friends about it in that way, right? Have you been I mean, that's why I'm waiting for the. I mean, I'm not gonna get Series X anytime um, soon, but like, I think that's why I'm waiting for the Series X for game to get the Series X version kind of at the very that, least. You know, many, many small things. That's why right now for certain games it, for me, it's like I've been waiting. It's like you know, I'll just wait till the next gen at this point. I'm like, I'm no, I'm no and, rush. Uh, that you haven't been. Oh yeah, there are a couple of tiles there where I'm like, I can do next gen. Uh, well, Miles, thank you so much for giving us your anyway, insight. I, I can wait for when the game launches, you could be mm -hmm. an official Night City tour guide instead, right? I might be, yeah. You know, uh, if this game dev thing doesn't oh, work out for Oh, me, that's I future DLC. Be, like, He's going to be yeah, added as a tour guide. He's in it. He's in it, He's in it already. There, there's a side he's mission that, there. He's that annoying tour guide. Want to watch anything again? That's what it is. We'll be uploading everything to our channels soon. Now. From the 6th Street to the Valentinos, it's time to introduce you to the gangs of Night City. All right, here we go. Get nitty gritty. Gangs of Night City. So easy, I want the one that has the coolest tattoos you have to get. <laughs> you know how things work in Night City. The stronger survive. That's one ones where and I can get the free beer. Stand. You're either somebody or you fizzle out into nothing. That is cool at night. You can see Night City from a distance. Be very careful, my friend. We are all so far from home. Which gang's the city's biggest and baddest, according to the NCPD? Scavs hold the body count title. Or Maelstrom, depending on the season. Oof. One time, a Maelstrom, Maelstrom ganger killed a young kid right in front of my eyes for shits and giggles. Chrome sucking psychos. No, no. Fuck are you to no. Say what can and can't be. Oh yeah, these, this was the first game introduced. Yeah. About time we had some fun. Think Maelstrom ever forgets? Never. <laughs> no. Uh, these fuckers. Just a gang like any other, right? I'll take the Valentinos. 
They follow God and the Santa Madre. Honor means something to them. How'd you meet Jackie? We started out together. In the Valentinos? No, in the fucking Bible book club. <laughs> in the <laughs> fucking Bible No, in the Valentinos. fucking Bible book club. They have a punishment for every occasion. Gangster life, puto! Quick shout out to everyone in Haywood and Santo Domingo. Lately, the Valentinos and 6th Street have had a bigger bone to pick. 6th Street. Why'd they want to wipe you? I don't know, can't fucking stand Tinos? Fucking stop! I've dealt with 6th Street before. We do the run, they'll transfer the cred. Come on, let's go before 6th Street shows up. Uh, so it sounds like crazy stop, stop. ass rednecks. Yeah, crazy yeah, ass rednecks. Yeah, it explains why they have that flag like that. Patriotic bullshit all day. Time to bring on the future. Whoa, dude, boys. Oh yeah, I heard about these are the um, all about the, the tech. tech. Voodoo boys breach the black wall. We'll all be fucked. Voodoo boys, urban myth. I thought just net runners spooking each other. No such gang. You know, I heard a few things about you, Voodoo boys, best runners in town. You do not steal from the Voodoo boys. I see you always. For them, Pacifica's just Haiti 2.0, their own island, cut off from the rest of the city. It's nice hearing more Keanu Reeves. Our home. Until last. And they they, they, they say he has, he's the one he has, he's got the most like second most Animals lines in this the game. I don't know. I think I read that. Breaker star. Animals aren't the play here, are they? They're hired muscle. Someone else needed. God damn, she's jacked. I fucked you over. You fucked the gang over. Somewhere at the start of the story, somebody fucked the corp. See how this works now? My husband. Tiger. Tiger. Did they say tiger claw? Tiger claws. Tiger claws. He did what made the best eddies. Sold sex and black market tech. Ooh. Ooh, that was cool. Work. Know what else they do well? I'm just. I'm trying to look and decide which king would I join. It doesn't look like necessarily it's all about joining games. It's about working for these Tiger games. Claws killed one girl too many. Is that so boxes? Matters into their own Moxies. M O X E S, I think. Open ballistic girls, pimps. Yeah, like all. Well, I'm not saying join, chicks. but just it's like if ever I take a side, whose side would I take? Us Moxes have each other's back. Yeah, Moxes. We look out for one another. You look at yeah, some company tonight. How'd you hook up with the Mox? I thought Susie and the gang could really change something in this city. Mox is in the Oh, hearing singing so accounts for other people you're meeting. About community, solidarity. Tell me about the Badlands. Oh. How much going on out here? Au contraire. This Race. is an ecosystem. Nomads wrapped in shiv, corporations, and drifters. They form a complete whole. Remove Whoa. one part, the delicate balance topples. Here in the Aldecaldos, it all stays in the family. Classic dilemma. What comes from? God damn, they're doing family, like gangs in the fucking Badlands. This family will go Look to Look how they showed back. two games. Everyone in this city lives yeah. in one bubble. And either you I, they just flashed the other one too quickly. Into quicksand. Mateusz, thank you so much for joining us. I have personally been really excited to give people a closer look at the gangs. We've shown a little bit on Twitter, but their styles are so distinct. Yes, I enjoyed them a lot as well in our game. I think they're very cool. But let's start then with the- Sound very enthusiastic, man. Because gangs I know, it's really like, yeah, yeah, they are very cool. Role in cool. Night City, cool. Correct? Yes, definitely. Cool. The gangs, they rule the streets of Night City. You know, they have the newest cyberware, they have the newest weaponry, and they are really a power that everyone needs to take into account when they are thinking of operating in Night City. You will encounter them as you explore the city, of course, but also as you complete main quests, side quests, uh, different jobs for the, for the fixers. Uh, sometimes you might even get hired by them. But then, I suppose everybody's thinking then, can you join a gang? Well, V is a merc. And mercs of Night City are this unique, distinct group that stick mostly to themselves, right? And they get jobs from a variety of factions. They can get jobs from corporations, they can get jobs from gangs, they can get jobs from uh, different kinds of... Probably can't join, but what you, the answer is no. You support. The answer seen to is no. I know that, but I'm saying you, probably, you could probably them, support right? them, that's about so it. The gangs are no exception here. They are looking only for like people that they know will be loyal to them, right? And that they will fight for their Yeah, which ones you would support. 
not just some of the times when it's profitable to them. So because of this, we will mostly stick to the afterlife. And the afterlife are this group of mercs, this legendary group of Oh, mercs, so you're already kind of part of a game. get the best job, oh, kind the, of sort of, yeah, money, uh, uh, clients and so on. So if you want to become a legend in Night City, you are going to the afterlife. So we've obviously mentioned distinct style then. So does that mean there are kind of special gang themed weapons and items and clothing for players to find and use? Yes, definitely. There are different vehicles that you can drive, for example. There are cars, there are motorbikes. Um, oh yeah, the motorcycle was really cool. There are different uh, pieces of clothing uh, themed after gangs. Uh, there are weapons and so on. So yeah, definitely there are things to look forward to. I suppose as somebody who's spent as much time as you have kind of getting to know the gangs, I have to ask, which is your favorite and why? So I would have to say probably Maelstrom, uh, simply because they have this unique, distinct feel. Uh, uh, Maelstrom looks like just, just screens were evil. So the idea about Maelstrom is... Like, six street screens were just asshole evil. The, the A screen looks screen were evil. Human, right? They are changing so much of their body with cyberware that they no longer look human, really. Yeah, that's what it that, is. They, they're they're looking more monstrous with their looks. Uh, it's very difficult mm -hmm. to say what they will do at any point when you meet them. Uh, at one moment, they can be shaking hands with you, and at the other moment, you know, they will pull gun out, gun out on you, and they bring in this element of chaos into the mm. game, which I really enjoy, personally. Oh, Matty, thank you so much for joining us. It's always interesting to learn what uh, your favorite gang is. I think it kind of tells me a little bit about you. Oh, does it? <laughs> what does it say about me? <laughs> well, the man we'll is not a psychopath, later. lady. So now, before we wrap up today's She's not episode, evil. we asked people to show us their creativity and design. Here we go. PC oh, the PC rigs. I'm, I'm interested by this. So she's a spider-looking one. We selected five finalists, and we teamed them up with professional case models to bring their concept to. Oh, the so project. they designed it, but then they met with people. Yeah, that's why. I selected and help them design it fully together. Let's see. These five amazing designs will be fighting for the main prize, an Alienware Aurora PC, along with other Shit. awesome gaming peripherals. Ooh, ooh, brought to you man. by our partners, Damn. Alienware, NVIDIA, and Steam All I want Chris to get is at least better headset. Let's see the mods. Should I remind you? Eh, ooh, that looks cool. I absolutely love this one. Look at that. The whole aesthetic works with each other. Absolutely Ooh, next level. Boys. Honestly, kind of terrifying. It is terrifying. God damn. I just want a PC exactly. rig. I would expect to find out. Imagine if you want one. I'm like, like, I finally got a PC rig. Oh, that's cool. Like, what the fuck is that? That looks like something Optimus Prime threw up. What the hell? That one looks what cool. Works. That one looks like a bike. No, it works. I think they made it functional, but they just wanted to make sure they, you know, got it just right. To watch the full PC case modding video and to get more yeah, I think that's enough for me. That those are for watching later. I'm very interested. Auction, stay tuned to our social media channels. I just, you actually use that in your house. Mods, it just a giant dev spider in the corner that runs your shit. If you're going to be playing Cyberpunk 2077 on PC when it launches this November, we do have some specs to share that I think... Oh, the spe PC specs. The minimum system requirements for Cyberpunk are a Windows 7 or 10 PC, an Intel Core i5 3570K or AMD FX 8310, yeah, nice. 8 gigs of RAM, and an NVIDIA GeForce I think I have GTX 780 or an AMD I really can try it out. RX 470. No. In the storage department, the no, I already said series, I'm getting Series X version. Space. 70 gigs. Although it will run 70. off a HDD, we do recommend Yeah, a solid FX stage. I need to get a better As solid stage drive for my system. Green if you're rocking Windows 10, an Intel Core i7 I just need a good 4, PC, 70, that's it. Or AMD Ryzen 3 Core i7 or it's a minimum, but this is the recommended to run it at GTX 1060 or AMD. No, I don't. I don't think I have that. Thank you so much for joining us. Okay, that's all that was. It was PC specs. Yeah. Don't forget that if you've missed anything or if you just want to watch again, we will be uploading everything to our channels shortly. And we will be back soon with episode four.
There's a fourth episode coming, yay! <laughs> Probably the last one, at least yeah, for now. I think a lot of people just want the game already, you know? So, plays all plays great also on Xbox Series X and PS5. PS5. Okay, so see you again that. next time. Okay, close that. Close, yeah. So that was the Cyberpunk 2077 Night City Wire episode 3, uh, which went over uh, games, the city itself, as well as some really ridiculous looking PCs. Um, yeah, yeah, so to start off, they um, pretty much went into showing off more of Night City itself, the different venues, the different venues, the districts, a lot of different like television shows that keep everybody in the loop for things yeah. as well. Really, that was some really good stuff. Um, what else? Uh, yeah, they show a lot of that. They explain how like meticulous in detail they have to. They made everything to where it feels like you're in a living, breathing city, even down to the simplest details as specifically where to put trash and stuff. They went into details on that. Uh, mm -hmm. After that, they talked about the gang, uh, different gangs. There's like at least five to six from the looks of it. Eight. I was just double checking now because the last the ones near the end. The right, the rates they they showed, but then the, the, there's one more that they flashed it. I couldn't really. I was like, wait, what? They flashed it, but there's a total of eight gangs. Because you had uh, the last one they showed was that it was called El Dacados. Okay, yeah. So we have there's a, there's quite a few gangs. There's a um, very cyber heavy gang. There's a hacker based gang. There's a um, let's be honest, a mix uh, a heavily inspired Mexican Latino gang. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a hardcore redneck gang, um, and that's not even in the Badlands either. Yeah. Um, let's see uh, what else. What like else? You said there's a total of eight of them because you had oh, there's like Maelstrom, a whole like the Valentino Sixth Street. Yeah, the Voodoo Boys. Oh, they have a all like a all girls group gang Moxes. in the city. The, yeah, the Moxies. Um, uh, Tiger Claws. The Tiger Claws, which is pretty much stereotypical, like. Asian Yakuza esque gang, mm -hmm. which that one looks. I won't. I won't mind joining yeah. that gang if I was. And then yeah, like I said, the last two ones you have, like I said, is the ones in the Badlands, where one's the Rates, and the other ones at Al de Cados. Yeah, and I yeah, it was really cool. They did specify you will not be able to join these games because you're technically already a part of the ga is a gang, which you're is a mer what is that group you're a merc already yeah. and you're trying to make a name for yourself. So why would you join a gang? Uh, if you were trying to make a name for yourself, you know, that's why, well, I said, on. that's why I said pretty much most likely it's one of those things where you could support them. Like they said, you could support them and it's on who they may trust. Um, but that's about it. Cause you start, you already belong on your own. You're that lone wolf. Yeah. You're, you're already, a, you're technically already part of a gang of sorts with this mercenaries group that hangs out in the afterlife club. So yeah. Uh, and yeah, you, you're not you're going to be jumping between gangs of course and it, i guess it'll really improve like which districts are safe to go to and which districts are not so safe to go to exactly you know? definitely affect that and of course the last thing they showed was the um the different pc rigs a part of this contest they did and it was really some really cool stuff yeah, well, people this... send in their designs and then they chose uh, i think the five you know finalists for these designs where they met, they met up yeah. with actual uh engineers to actually put this all together or make it look yeah. like what they had designed like, like there was like a, a chair based pc rig mm -hmm. uh co concept spider looking one the spider looking one there was one that looked like um one of the like kind of like a flying drone machine in a way yeah it's just that last segment was just more of like okay let's you know look at our fans that you know submit it you know that's what it was yeah, you know, and it is, the last thing they showed was the official PC system requirements for the, the game. Minimum the, and the minimum and the recommended and the requirements. Re and then the recommended requirements, which, okay, cool. I mean, and of course, I'm, it also said it's also great for the Xbox Series X and PS5. At, at the very, at the very, <laughs> at the very end. end. So, so I'm, yeah. So right there, I'm, yeah. I've already said for I'm gonna definitely wait to get the Series X version. I'm not in a hurry to play this game because I already have. I'm not play. either because it's. It seems like, like I because I'm already on a backlog myself. But like, it seems like this is a game that you really wanna really want to take your time with because you want to explore every nook and cranny well, of this game. Plus, there's also a fact that I'm. 
by 3 a.m., 3.30 a.m. the night, by 3 a.m. the night, we did our PS5 recording, showcase recording. I was successfully able to pre-order a PS5. So, and I already know which two games I want for it. So I'm going to be set there as well. Yeah. So I got to get through what I currently have because I just started uh, Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 1 and 2 last night. Uh, by the way, the face selection in that game sucks ass. Um, but no, back to the main thing. It really does. Uh, back to the main thing. Yeah, uh, really cool stuff. Uh, this was just, of course, explain a lot more of what to expect. I do. I'm, I am starting to really appreciate these nice to do our episodes because it is basically developer diaries, just going over bit by bit all the sections your uh, fans are curious about in terms of weapons, gangs, environments, landscapes, and the missions you'll be able to choose from. And of course, the brain dance mode as well. It's called brain dance. Yeah, it's I think it was dance. brain dance. Yeah. Yeah, the, the brain dance mode, like going over all the little aspects. I have they briefly talk about vehicles, so I'm fig- thinking mm-hmm. next episode is when they're gonna probably find dive deeper into vehicle customization, vehicle. Options yeah, vehicle. Com- well. Yeah, cu- vehicle options customization. That's I think they, that's they they teased it here a little bit where it's like each gang does have their own, not even uh, uh like they said uh, their own outfits or parts of an outfit or even their own type of vehicles. Yeah, yeah so I think they're gonna probably go over more of like customization for your character as well as your vehicle as well so i think that's going to probably be in the next and maybe one. the only and, other thing i could think of is more exploration pretty much of other um, stuff that's in the, I in the city i i have to double check this but i think they may be showing something at tokyo game show in the next week or so so i'll have to double maybe check even that. knows we'll have to wait till that time comes but so i'm i'm, I'm gonna kind of figure that next month's nice war is probably gonna be the final episode because the game does come out in november yeah, that's why I said. So, I think the next one is going to be the final one because, like I said, I don't know what else more they could talk about for this game. But as always, like I said before, I'm still looking forward to trying the game out for myself. And I know you are as well, Chris. Mm-hmm. So other than that, if you're new to the channel, you can hit the like button. If you want to talk to us more about stuff like this, comment down below. If you want to share us around, share it around. And if you like it's just a little bit more than anybody else when it comes to talking about a whole bunch of video games and some Night City goodness, hit the subscribe button down below and hit that bell icon as well. Let us know what you guys thought of uh, this night, night City Wire. Uh, did you enjoy how they explored the city? Uh, how they dived in more of like the districts of you know what to expect in the city? Um, any games that uh, seem to stand out the most for you? Even if you had, even if you you know they do have that option at some point, I doubt it. But you know if you had to join a gang, which gang out of the ones that they showed would you like to join? Um, me, I have no idea. Uh, <laughs> so many, so many. I, I don't know which one to choose from, but. Uh, you know, or even not even not even which ones you want to join, but which ones looks like you're they're the you know, the most that you wouldn't mind interacting with, and see what you know how their gang operates and things like that. Um, let us know what you guys thoughts of our reaction to this Night City Wire, but most importantly, thank you for watching. And of course, on the next episode of SRB TV, whether it's a special episode or not, uh, look forward to some stuff coming down the pipeline. Of course, we got um, we still got our Harley Quinn reactions. We just started Star Girl. Uh, we got um, sh- I just blanked on what the next thing. The other thing was uh, look also check if you haven't yet checked our PlayStation Five showcase mm-hmm. reaction. Mm-hmm. Let's just say a lot of good stuff was shown. Hopefully, they can work out their pre-order issues because it's yeah. on fire right now. Um, but. Uh, Anything else you want to plug, Chris? Um, uh, no, I just, I just, um, just, I, I'm just hoping this game does well. Um, there's been a lot of stuff no, with. Uh, oh, go on. You say overall. Go on, go on. Sorry. Go on. No, go on. <laughs> no, I was just gonna say. I'm, uh, yeah, I understand why they may have delayed it because of next gen, but also they want to work out the tweaks and the bugs since like games like the Avengers or any other game has been coming out with a lot of bugs and I'm pretty sure they're just trying to make sure they get every little detail in there. And I really hope this game does successfully well at launch. Cause I know it's such a large game. I know it's, they're going to be implementing so much stuff. So I really hope it starts off strong for this game. Cause this is the most anticipated game for the past few years now. So yeah. Yeah. But uh, until next time, folks, I'm Chris. I'm Christopher. And this has been a very gang affiliate Phil episode of SRB TV. See ya. Later. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you want to check out our previous reactions or any one of our other SRB shows, check out one of our playlists down below. And if you want to check us out in the social universe, you can find us on Twitter and Stardust at Super React Bros.